extroverts of Reddit. What questions do you have for introverts? How can I tell if you're being shy or you just don't like me slash don't want to talk to me? This is a hard one. For me, small talk is hard. So I often sit in silence, sweating, trying to come up with a question to ask or something to say to someone even though I like them. I smile and nod and try to convey that I'm listening. However, when I don't like or don't want to talk to someone, I answer questions briefly and don't try to continue the conversation at all. I may smile to be polite, but I don't make much eye contact. I don't ever reach out to someone via text if I don't want to talk to them. If they contact me, I just answer the questions and make shallow small talk, how are you, good, how are you, etc. Everyone is different though. I hope this was a decent answer smile. Try starting a conversation based on something you noticed that I like. But be prepared to actually discuss it. Don't be afraid to admit you don't know everything about it though. For example. Wow, Booger Ruth. Is that tattoo a slime from the Dragon Quest series? If I would rather not have a conversation with you I'll say. Mm, and keep going. If you're someone I've thought about talking to I'll say. Oh neat. You know Dragon Quest. And then I have an opening with you that we can talk about. I won't hold a conversation if I don't think I'm going to get something stimulating out of it. It's pointless. Pay attention to what we say. Are we actually responding properly to what you say or are we giving quick one slash two word responses? If it's the former, we're probably just shy. If it's the latter, we don't want to talk to you. Good question, you can't. Wait, introvert does not mean shy. Those two are completely different things. If I like you, I will be listening if you say something and give you proper feedback. If I don't like you, my replies will be one worded. Oh, really? Traversion isn't shyness. If my eyes never meet yours I don't like you if my eyes look at you when you speak for half a second then look somewhere else then I'm just shy. Honestly people are gonna give you answers to this question that pertain to them the small amount of people in this world that they know. But the only correct answer is, you literally can never know. Everyone has different tells. Hell, some people don't even have tells. I mean it works both ways right? How do I know you as an extrovert actually like talking to me or are just being fake nice? Do you mind if I talk a lot and sometimes dominate the conversation? I'll still ask you questions and stuff but I just talk a lot. That's probably okay. As long as you listen and don't interrupt when I do say something. Personally, I prefer the other talks more. Is there a way that I can make plans where it doesn't make you uncomfortable slash want to flake? It's so disappointing when people cancel plans on me frequently. I realize that it's harder for some people to spend that social energy. I just also want to be able to spend time with you. Having an activity makes me more comfortable and less likely to bail. I almost always suggest playing pool or darts or Dave and Busters. Spending time one on one is much easier than with more people. Warn your introvert very far in advance. If your plans involve parties, clubbing, family barbecue, etc. If you really want to make sure they don't bail, make it something for just the two of you. They'll be able to spend more quality time with you that way, too. For me, don't invite others, especially people I don't know. Have a plan in advance, a couple days. Introverts like knowing something is going to happen that'll give them time to work up the energy for it. If it was an hour before I clocked off of work and someone asked to go for a dinner with a group of friends I would most likely choose to go home. I like to prepare my energy for people. Introverts, like me, usually enjoy some fun time after they decide to go. So I would start with some small plans. Not consuming too much time or energy and let them warm up a little. The hardest part is to get introvert out of their house. 
so don't scare them with some big party plans right from the start. The former mild introvert who is now an ambivert. If you're trying to make plans with an introvert and are worried about them canceling last minute, try to make plans in smaller groups and at a time when they wouldn't be socially tired. If you're planning to go to a crowded bar with 5 plus other friends after a day of work, an introvert is likely going to cancel if they're tired after their work day. If you plan to meet up just the two of you at one of your houses to cook slash take out and eat a meal on a Saturday, you're more likely to have it happen. Basically, more people meeting plus crowded place plus after a social activity equals likely cancel from introverts. Less people plus private place plus earlier in the day slash a free day equals more likely for them to show up. It may also be that while the introverts enjoy your company, you may also deplete their social battery really fast. By constantly talking, asking questions, making small talk, and generally just being uncomfortable with silence. So saying anything to fill the break in conversation. So they may want to hang out with you but they have to make sure that they can keep up with you. Being overly extroverted in and of itself is not a bad thing. But if you're worried you tire people out too fast, try listening more in conversations and practice getting comfortable with silence in a social interaction. This doesn't mean that small talk is bad. But try to find something deeper you can talk about. Extra advance notice helps. It gives me a chance to plan my social expenditures to try to save up the energy our planned activity will require. Sometimes things go awry though. And I just don't have it in me to do the thing. Sorry about that. It isn't personal. For me. The biggest thing you can do to encourage me to come to activities is give a fairly set start slash end time, and stick to it. For example, my friend had a hens party, which I obviously attended. We started with one of those classes where you paint and drink wine, and followed it up with cocktails. Those were the set activities, and that's what I budgeted for with my energy allotment. And then the group decided on dinner and karaoke, and stopping by this random dance party we passed. And the more activities they decided to spring on me, the more tired and stressed I became and the less I wanted to hang out with them. Why is it so hard to respond to a text? What we do here is go Sometimes back, it's back, too back, hard back. to find correct words. I, as an introvert, often read my answer over and over again before sending just to find out that it's dumb or too bold or just annoying in my opinion. So I change it many times before I decide. Nah, I cannot communicate properly, I'll just leave it. I usually forget as I go back in my bubble. Sometimes, we don't respond because we are so emotionally and physically drained. We just don't have the energy to continue a conversation. I like to text because it allows me to fully think out and say what I'm trying to say without having an awkward pause in the moment. If I ever not respond to a text, it's either because of confrontation or fear that I've made a bad first impression and don't want to dig myself into an even deeper hole. It's not that hard. We just don't want to. Sometimes if it's a question our silence answers the question. If it's not something urgent. We know it won't hurt you to wait. If it's a question we feel we shouldn't have to answer we don't. Many introverts have learned to economize words and answer through actions or non-answers. Not sure if I only speak for myself, but it varies. Sometimes I don't know what to say. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed by the talk. If someone responds too fast, I get anxious. Sometimes I've had my allotted social time for the day and I want to curl up far, far away from other people. The flip side is, if I feel social, it'll hurt if I can't talk to others or if my messages are ignored. Cause then it'll be like well, why did I even bother trying? <laughs> Oh, my God.